What's up guys, Nate here, and today I have a really fun video in store for you. So today we are going to be taking a look at an entire case of the brand new 2023 Pokeballs. So obviously I have an entire case of the Pokeballs, an entire display, which we will quickly, I guess, take out here and take a look at it. I do have the little pull straps on the side so I can actually get this thing out of the cardboard without it falling over too much, but as you can see, as I drop it, uh, there is an entire dis- Oh, hold on, hold on. There is an entire display in here, which means we get the, uh, the little Pokeball actual, um, I guess, banner thing? I, I don't know actually how to describe it, but I, I think it goes, um, there's, there's two of them. I don't, uh, I guess, does one go on the front? Maybe? Maybe? I don't, uh, or maybe it goes... I don't know, guys. You're going to have to give me a second here. All right. I, I got it set up. To be honest, I have no clue where the little one would actually go on this, but we have six Pokeballs. It honestly looks like such a, a, a kind of a, a neat display. So we have, I believe it is going to be two of the brand new Lure Balls here, a Pokeball, a Premier Ball, Great Ball, and then obviously my favorite, an Ultra Ball there. Now it's going to come with obviously three packs inside of each, which is really cool. And I don't know the exact pack spread, so we're going to be learning together. And also for, if you were wondering, these balls say C23 on them. I believe they all say, yeah, so C23 is the code on these Pokeballs right here. So if you are looking for them in store and you want to know kind of what comes inside of them, so obviously after the video, um, the pack contents in here will be related to the code, which is C23. So anyways, without any further ado and me rambling anymore, let's take these Pokeballs down to the minicam, rip them open, and see what packs come inside. So as you can see off to the side here, we have all of our beautiful, beautiful Pokeballs. And as you can see right here, Zapdos EX is going to be our corner card of the week, joining us in the, uh, I guess it'd be the back right corner here for the remainder of the week. So I guess we're going to organize these balls a little bit. I don't really think it matters too much. I mean, the lure balls are the newest edition. They haven't made these balls before, I believe. So I think just for, you know, for the sake that they're new, we'll open these ones up first here. All right, so I got it unwrapped. I'm probably going to, after this, just unwrap all of them because they take a little time, clearly. And uh, we will now find out what packs come inside. And it already seems like these balls are snapping apart. But, ooh, okay. I can see a good little Lost Origin pack there on the front. Then we're going to have, oh, look up, look at this. A Don Dozo and Mouse Hold or Tandem Mouse. I think this one is Tandem Mouse. Stickers, anyway. Fusion Strike and Silver Tempest there. So, over. Oh, I'd say it's a pretty good pack spread. Fusion Strike, definitely the worst one, but Lost and Silver, you can definitely get some awesome stuff from. Not to say you can't get anything good from, you know, Fusion Strike, just we typically don't. So I guess we can just start opening packs up here and see kind of how the pulls are looking out of these Pokeballs. I know in the past, the Pokeball pull rates aren't, uh, haven't been insane, so we'll see if these ones here can deliver anything that's, you know, jump out of our seat worthy, but... Hey, we just gotta go through here, find out what we're looking at. Quillfish there, Vulpix, Chansey, Galarian, Zigzagoon, Slugma into a Pikachu V. We will definitely take that on camera. That actually one looks quite, quite nice there. So, okay, one V hit already. Sometimes out of these balls, you don't even get Vs. So I will gladly take that. And Lost Origin up next here. I mean, you know what I always say, a Giratina would always be more than welcomed around here for sure. Sure, but Lady Silcoon there, Lost Vacuum, super playable, Litleo, Tynamo there, Slugma, C Dot there, Hisuian Growlithe, I think I see something in the back, Machop, and into a Pidgeot V, so already two decent V hits out of these balls, and, and Silver Tempest is definitely, I think, one of these sets that you could actually like, get something super, super big out of, so... I mean, hey, we'll see on this one. And again, two out of the three packs in here actually have galleries in them. So, I mean, that's pretty insane. So, I mean, usually when I say gallery hit, we tend to get them. So we'll see if my luck holds true on this one. Swablu there, Swirlix into a Rotom Halucha. So no trainer gallery. And the rare is a regular rare Zara Aura. But out of our first ball, I will definitely, definitely take that one as I'm gonna start uh, trying to get into this next lure ball right here. I'm gonna use my knife this time around because I took a little bit longer with the actual, I guess, uh, rip on them. So we'll see if I can actually even get this one open. It's looking like this will be another uh, naughty word that I can't say on camera to open, but we'll try to get this one open here and I think I got it. So we'll open this one up here. I'm pretty sure all the pack selection should be the same 
and it's looking like it is. Are the stickers gonna change? No, I think the stickers will be exactly the same, which is fair. I mean, if you're buying one ball at a time, not a case and a degenerate like me, you're gonna, you know, you're not gonna want variation in these in random stickers, I guess, even though Pokemon packs are all random, but I guess that consistency is fair. So we'll, we won't really be looking at those stickers too much from here on out. We'll just be going through these packs. One, two, three, four here. Lost to Origin. Let's see if we can hit a Giratina. That's all. I, I mean, that's like one of the craziest crazy. You can hit Pikachu there. Machop, Shuppet, anything in the reverse. Hollow, a Porygon 2, and the rare is just a regular rare Raichu. I think after these ones for the last four balls, I mean, I'm just probably going to off camera open them all up and then we'll uh we'll go through them one of the like just a i guess a slew of packs i don't know if i messed the pack trick up there i know i did not but yeah i think after this one we'll just uh we'll open everything up and then we'll just have a stack of packs and we'll go to town on those packs like we like to do around here swadloon there Drillver and a Palisand leaving Silver Tempest as our next pack up. Let's see if Silver Tempest can kind of redeem this ball because uh, so far this, uh, oh, White Code Guard there, already not a good start. I'll give you guys that one. Oh, I almost, okay, hold on, Nate. Chill out there. You're thing this isn't, uh, this ain't Scarlet and Violet where we don't need to do a pack trick anymore. We gotta watch ourselves on these ones. Slurpuff there, Mistrevious, Whalmer there, Murkrow into an Emolga, Meditite, a little punny in the reversal, and the rare is an Arcanine non-hollow. All right, guys, so quickly off camera, I'm gonna open everything up and we'll have a stack of packs to go through next. All right, and like I promised, a good stack of packs as I knock the camera and all the cards over there, but we do have our little stack of packs left over from the last four Pokeballs. So we'll start off with our four packs of Fusion Strikeout here, which oh, I thought we almost had all of the uh, the artworks close. We were missing Gengar, actually, yeah, Gengar. That's a pretty big one to miss, not gonna lie, but. If I can actually get this back of Fusion Strike open, we'll see what's come. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, um, um, uh, we didn't see that. Right, guys? Okay, we'll slide the code card out. It's obviously, um, gonna be a black code card. So there's something in this pack brewing. Okay, we'll, uh... Ooh, okay, we'll go through this one nice and slow because I mean you guys clearly saw what I saw there There definitely was some silver in the back of this pack mudkip there into a sand shrew Q fan is this a reverse all it is a nine tails in the rare is a Rainbow dancer. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, so we're hitting rainbow rares out of these packs I will definitely definitely take that. Oh my god Goodness, Jude, that is okay. We're hitting some rainbow rares. Ooh, okay, we will uh, we will set the dancer rainbow rare back there, which honestly I didn't even know was a trainer card until today and the moment I pulled it. So that is a, uh, a cool one there. Let's see if uh, I guess you just gotta talk crap about fusion strike and some good stuff shows up. I'm gonna be careful to not show anything off there again, and we'll go through this one to see if potentially we can double down here and see if we can hit, I guess, some more juice out of Fusion Strike. Skarmory there, Mantine, Jinx, into a low punny, and the rare is just a regular rare single strike Yvatol, but I have seen a lot of people playing that, so that's a, that's a neat card to have. And I have to think about the Pokeballs, guys. The, the packs always get like so curled up because they're in like actually inside the balls and they have to kind of round at the corners. There's not physically enough space in there for you to keep the packs, I guess, flat and nice, so. It is one downside with the whole uh, Pokeball, I guess, delivery method of packs. It, they're cool to have as collectibles after the fact, which is super, super nice. But yeah, it's a little unfortunate the packs get a little messed up. And sometimes you're, I'm always worried about the actual cards inside getting a little messed up. But here, so far, it seems fine with a Rookity there, Morgum there, and the Rare is a Scorch Rapid Strike card. Nothing too special other than our Dancer so far, which I mean, hey, we will gladly take that one. Last pack of Fusion Strike up, and we can move on to, I think I have Silver Tempest up next here. We'll see if we can actually even get this Fusion Strike pack opened. And there we go. We can actually got it open there. So we will go through our last pack of Fusion Strike here, see if we can hit another Rainbow Rare, maybe even an alternate Arc Gengar. Hmm, hmm. Bancham there, Darumaka, Indeedee. Going into a Growlithe, a Darmanitan, and not a Gengar. I just a Cloyster, regular rare there, but that's all right. Silver Tempest up next, gonna lock down the fort here with uh, every Packard except Regilecki, which is unfortunate. I'm saving both the Lugias to last, because why not? You know what I mean? Gotta, gotta live a little bit with that. So we'll see if Silver Tempest is going to deliver some juice here. You know what I mean? Silver Tempest always 
loves to hit us with some surprise pulls, especially if we can maybe even hit a four seal stone, because that would be awesome. Curlia actually is really, really playable there. I'm gonna set that one to the side. Chimeco there, Burnaby, Drowsy, Spinarak there, Ralts into a Pharaoh Seed, and the rare is a non holo Keldeo. Still super all right. The Curly actually is a nice card to pull. I know a lot of people are running that in Gardevoir decks and a variety of decks, actually. Just the Curly's draw ability is super, super empowering, or not empowering. That's not the word I'm looking for. Powerful, just pa straight powerful. Is It's a good ability is what I'm trying to say, but we'll go through this one here, seeing if maybe a gallery spot hit is coming. I wouldn't mind a gold Requaza, or even the actual, I guess, VMAX alternate art Requaza would be super, super cool. Guess not today, Meditite, and then a Verizion right there with our two packs. I don't know, I, I'm, uh, this one, th 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 that, that one's gonna be better. That one's gonna be better. We'll go through Lugia here. See if this Lugia, if I'm wrong, and maybe this one is actually where the uh, the good hits are in. One, two, three, there. Let's see what I already flashed something again. Guys, I'm so bad about this today, but that's all right. That means we got something good. Dratini there. Fan Fee Litten into a Rufflet. Bunnery there. And the rare is a Mowile V-Star. Still a super nice pull. We will always take a textured V-Star pull around here. No doubt in my mind. Definitely a good one there, but... I mean, I saved the other one for a reason because I thought that this one, I don't know, you know how sometimes you pick up a pack and you're like, this one this one here's got some energy in it. This one's got some some juice in the Silver Tempest pack. So, I mean, maybe I'm very wrong and this pack just sucks, but I, I have a good feeling. And I guess this isn't technically last pack magic. This would be like, I, I, don't, I don't know what pack magic. This would be fourth, fifth to last lack pack, pack, blah, pack magic. Jeez, I can't even talk. Esper there, Dratini. Chimeco, or not Chimeco, Chinchow, jeez, Leafy Camel Poncho, and the rare, because I called it and said it was going to be good, it is a Frostlass regular rare there, definitely, uh, def definitely not the, um, the one I was looking for, but that is alright, we have some Lost Origin goodies up here, I'm definitely going to put Enamorous first and save our good old Giratina to last, because we always got to do that, so, <sighs> Lost Origin, always a great set to open up. Definitely my favorite of the Sword and Shield. I, I think this one beats out Evolving Skies in my eyes. I know a lot of people would definitely be like, Nate, you're crazy. This set is not as good as Evolving Skies. So, I don't know. It's got some good cards in it for sure. Kamala there, Carbink. Gligar there, Poliwag, and honestly the artwork in this set too is just like top tier. Like just even some of the regular cards, like this Phalanx right here, another example of that. Like sometimes you gotta step back and appreciate the little cards artwork. You know what I mean guys? Love this there. Oddish into a Radiant Gardevoir. We will definitely take our nice Radiant Guard there. And the rare is a Poliwrath. Not too shabby there, but a, oh my goodness, dude, that is one of the most off-centered Radiants I have ever seen. Woo, that is a definite, I would say off-center borderline miscut Gardevoir there. Like that is, man, that is definitely a, uh, <laughs> that is a, that is really miscut. But we will set that one to the back and we still have a bunch more Lost Origin to go for. And hopefully double down and pull some more goodies like that Gardevoir out of, because and that's just in the gallery spot there. Ooh, V-Star Energy there. I don't want to, no, wait, am I, am I doing this wrong? I think we're, yeah, we'll just put the two to the back, then I'm safe regardless, even if I did mess it up. But we'll go through here, see what we got cooking. Slugma there, Amalwile, Gumi. Uh, that, that's the V-Star card, I just did flip it. Lady, Minchino there, Thornton into a Mulwile, and the rare is a Snorlax Holographic. We will take that one, definitely not a, a crazy hit, but... It's Snorlax, guys. You gotta love your little Snorlax, man. He's just, he's just, he's just chilling. He's just having his day. You know what I mean? All right, two last packs of Lost Origin up here, and we do have our Giratina one saved for last. Cause I mean, I'm not gonna end it off not on a Giratina one, two, three, four there to the front. I did it right somehow. Damage pump there, a bomb of snow, Ambi Palm, Gligar, Love Disc there. Can we get a hit out of this one? Pseudo Wudo, Phantom. I don't know. Did I, oh, that was just a thick. Freaking pseudo woodle card there. It felt thicker. I thought I had two cards. Fans up there. Meta Cham in the rare is a Buffalant. Not on hollow. Leaving us with our last pack of Lost Origin up here. Can we give it a little tap tap for some good luck? Maybe if you guys hit that tap tap on that uh, that subscribe button, we'll uh, we'll do some good luck out of this pack. But we'll see. We'll see out of here. One, two, three, four to the front there. And mm, do we do the little fancy pack trick? I, th I think we do. I think we do the little fancy pack trick there. Whew. Let's see. What's coming in this one? Binnacle, Shellos there, Mulwile into a Horsey, Energy there, Carbink, Lake Cuity into a Porygon 2, and the reverse hollow is a Chandelure, and the rare 
is just a regular Hoopa, but I would say Overall, we did all right, especially with the Snorlax in there. Definitely not a crazy spread of hits. The Dancer is super, super nice, but I was kind of expecting a little more out of a whole case of them. But nonetheless, guys, I'd love to hear your opinions on these. If you, you know, you will be picking up the Pokeballs. If not, I'd even love to hear about it. But anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Nate Collects, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.